Today I want to go all out with pink. I want pink to really pop. A lot of times I prime my lid with the MAC Paint Pot, but today I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Fair, which is basically white, for my entire lid. I'm just going to do one lid on camera and the other one off camera since I want to get a few looks into this video and not have it be super long. I'm going to use the bright pink color Barbie and in my crease. Even though I put the ColourPop No Filter Concealer already down, I'm going to put more of it right here to kind of cut the crease just because I want the light pink to really pop. I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is Wet n Wild. And I'm going to go in with the lighter pink, which is Pretty in Pink, this shade over here. And I'm going to blend, use that to kind of blend word up below the brow bone and then also to kind of blend these two together right here. And then also to go over this cut crease. I'm just taking that original brush and gonna blend out. I'm not adding more color yet on my brush. I just wanna try to blend it out with what color is still left on the brush from before. I want a little bit more of the Pretty in Pink below my brow bone, a little bit more of Barbie just to brighten that back up over here. Then I'm gonna put on some eyeliner. This is the Ulta Automatic Black Eyeliner. I like to take a small brush and I'm just gonna go in with this bottom color, the 1959. It has a little bit of a purple color to it, but it's mostly black. And I'm just gonna kind of smudge my liner with that kind of into the lashes. we're going to see how the application, what is the best application for the pink shimmer color, which is Dollhouse, this color in the middle. I'm going to start using with a silicone applicator. I'm pretty sure, although there's no, oh yeah, this is from e.l.f. It seems like it's picking up a little bit on the applicator. doesn't really give you a huge amount of glitter. You're looking just to kind of have this be more of a subtle look with not pow glitter in your face or shimmer, I would say to use a silicone applicator. I'm wanting a little bit more than that. So let me try a different brush. I'm going to try this as the e.l.f. lip defining brush. It's a little bit of a dense brush and see what that does. with my finger. It seems like the you get the most bang with applying it with your finger, but there is definitely a lot of fallout. This is, I'm gonna try a different brush from Wet n Wild, and we're gonna use the Ulta Setting Spray and see what that does. Okay, that does a little bit better, but it definitely just kind of moves the product around. So I think for the dollhouse, the shimmer pink, probably applying it with your finger is going to be the best way to apply. So I'm going to clean up this eye because I have quite a bit of fallout. There wasn't much fallout from the Barbie or the Pretty in Pink color. It mostly came from dollhouse 
and the 1959 yeah. color trying to use that for a darker to darken up the eye liner and I'm using the Ulta this is a limitless lash is lengthening and volumizing mascara this is a little bit of a wetter formula kind of like the Lash Paradise or Too Faced. I wouldn't say it's a dupe for them, but it's just that kind of wet formula. So here is the finished look. I usually wouldn't do an all pink eye, but I kind of like it. It's a little something different that I would normally not do. So, and that is what makeup I think is all about is having fun and trying new things. So look number one, pinks. We're gonna do blue and brown. Brown shade right here for my crease. For the outer corner, I'm going to go in with this dark chocolate brown. They do have names on the box. So the first one I used was Role Model. Now I'm going to go in with Vintage. And I went a little too high on this eye than I was planning, so we're just gonna even this eye out. I'm gonna go back with the original brush that I was using and go back to role model and kind of blend that out now. And I'm not worrying about if I get it out here because I'll clean that up after I'm done. Okay, now I am going to use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Fair. some blue right there. And the blue is Ken. And if you wanted this to pop even more, I went really light with the white. If you wanted, you could pack more white concealer on it and it would give it even more of a pop. For the brow bone on this one, I am going to use the fantasy color. That is this one up here. I'm going to go with a tighter, densed brush to get a little bit more pop of the blue. Actually, I'm going to spray it with the Ulta setting spray. Yes, that's what it needed. Sometimes you just have to keep playing around with different brushes and different ways to apply things to get the desired look. Brushes can really make a difference on how a product applies. Let me know down below if you would like me to do a video on brushes because I have been experimenting with them and I've noticed that it really can make a big difference on how much payoff you get on the color. So I would recommend don't just write off a palette or a color shadow. If you try it once and you think, oh gosh, I'm not getting much color from this, don't just automatically write it off because it might be the type of brush you're using. So this is a clean brush, so I'm just gonna kinda Take it and just lightly go over the brown area just to kind of blend it all out together. Just a circular motion. This empowered one, the top one, when I used it with a brush, I wasn't getting that much payoff. So let's see what happens when I apply it with my finger. That's a little better. And I'm just kind of applying it in the center and it's just kind of mixing blending between that blue and the brown. Just barely putting any on, 
because I don't want it to be a huge pop of glitter. Now I am going to clean up. There is some fallout. As you can see in the palette, there did get some powdered in there. See, there definitely is some fallout, so we need to clean that up. So I've curled my hair and now I'm just waiting for the curls to set and cool off before I finger brush them out. So now I'm going to do my lashes. We are going to use Coffee Talk Lashes and the style is Madison. And I did do an unboxing of the three that I received over on Instagram. So my link to Instagram is down below if you want to check that out. But look at how cute the packaging is. Ta-da! And it has a style on the back. These are Madison and so they are a little more spaced apart than the Logan ones that I tried. They're 100% faux mink lashes. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> Here you go. So for the third look, I am going to concentrate on the bottom row of the palette. Just swatch these for you. Accessory. Then we have Fashionista. Dreamtopia. And it just fell. Hold on. The last one is 1959. So this, these are the colors that we are going to work with today. For eyeshadow primers, I am testing out. I really like the Urban Decay. I know I like this, but I wanted to see the e.l.f. How it, this, this is a sheer one from e.l.f., how they compare. So today I'm going to be testing these out. To get started, it's kind of interesting because this is, yeah, this one in the middle here is actually the Fashionista. This one, which in the pan, I feel like that definitely looks more purple than it swatches. So we're going to put that in. Well, we're going to go with Dreamtopia, this one. And we're going to put that in the crease and see what happens. This is definitely going to be a look outside of my comfort zone. Definitely more fallout on this color than some of the other colors that I've used in this palette so far. And I'm going to use just a fluffy Wet n Wild brush just to kind of blend that out up here. I don't have anything on it right now. So now I'm going in with Fashionista, this one that looks purple in the pan, but on my swatch looks more pink. So let's see what it looks like on the eyeball. That is so strange. And it does look more pink than it does in the pan, but on my eye, I feel like I can see more purple than when I swatched it on my pan. It's kind of the first time that I've really swatched a shadow and that's happened where it looks pretty different because this is on the eye and that pink shade is what's yeah okay ba, ba, ba. I'm going to go in and use the 1959 in the outer corner and I'm just going to pat that on see how that works it's looking pretty dark Let's blend some stuff out here and see. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to go up to this top color. This is Fantasy and use that below my brow bone to see if it will lighten up this look enough before I go on. I feel like this color Dreamtopia it doesn't blend as easy as a lot of the other colors in this. It just kind of where you put it, it's gonna kind of stay. So just be conscious of that. It just, yeah, it doesn't really blend as well. As you can see, I'm getting quite a bit of fallout. I'm thinking it's mostly from that Dreamtopia shade. I've never really done that where you kind of cut the crease with just a really thin line. So I'm gonna try to attempt that and see what happens with some concealer. I'm using the Pacifica and this is 
the e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush. I feel like when I open my lid, it kind of disappears towards the inner corner, so I'm going to put more concealer on and go up above the crease a little bit more over there. Okay, so I have hooded eyes, so it is better when I left my eye open to see where that way when I put it on, since my eyes will be open most of the time, you can actually see it where before I went above. So that, it didn't really turn out how I was expecting it to turn out. But that's what happens with makeup. I was meaning to just to do a thin line, a thin line with hooded eyes. I should have just started at this top line instead of starting where the bottom one is. If I would have started where the top portion of this is, I think that I would have got more of the thin line. But since I started kind of right in the crease and I should have known better, when I opened it, you couldn't see it. So I had to go higher. So that's why it looks that way. So I'm just going to kind of blend the top of that out a little bit. Little, I'm not adding more color. I'm just kind of blending it. This is the e.l.f. silicone glitter applicator. That actually seems to be doing a pretty good job. I mostly just went where the concealer was and then a little bit just in the center of the lid. And one thing I will say with this shadow, this is the accessory. I feel like if you wanted just a fine line, you'd have to have a really steady hand and really go slow. Some more of that purple pink color. Still not really happy with how this is looking over here. So I'm gonna go back in with the Fantasy on a, just a big fluffy brush. And go up here. Just not quite happy with that. And sometimes I feel like you need to clean it up before you can really see if you like how it is. If you're going to use the bottom row of this palette, definitely don't do your foundation or your face makeup first because you are going to get fallout, especially with the glitters. So make sure you do your eye looks first. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and put on mascara. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and see if I think I need eyeliner or not. I did have less fallout when I did this eye, I guess because maybe just how I was applying it with the brush. So I'm thinking that you still should do your eye makeup before you do your foundation with the, these colors. But yeah, I definitely had more fallout on this one. And I think it was because I kept going back and forth because I wasn't really liking how it looked with that top purple shade. I'm going to use Coffee Talk Lashes, Lashes and I have not tried this style yet. Here is the style. And again, I did receive these complimentary. I like these. I did trim a little bit off the outer corner. Um, and that seems to fit my eye better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I'm sexy. Okay, I just can't stop staring at my eyes. I just really like that. I think, yeah, I definitely think that Samantha is my favorite style. I'm gonna use the Revolution the Flick Pin. Here is the finished look using the bottom row of the Pure Barbie collection. What do you think? What is your favorite looks? Do you like the pink, the brown and blue, or I'm going to call this the purples. Which one do you like the best? I'd love to know down below. The brand is cruelty free and this is 
12 shadows again that you get in this and this is called the endless possibilities palette i love the palette itself which i already said in my first impressions overall i do like this palette you can see that you can kind of see where i've dug in which shades are probably the softer ones by how they look i really like it i think that it's a great color combination that you can build a lot of looks with this and the glitters I will forewarn you, they do kind of get all over. When I used this glitter before and this one, I did have <laughs> glitter underneath my eyes for a couple days. I just kept using makeup removers and but the, so the glitter, you will have some fallout. And other than that, just this bottom row, you'll have a little bit of fallout, but I didn't notice a lot of fallout in the other shades. I'm happy that I purchased it and I definitely want to keep using it and try different color combinations. I think that it's a fun palette because you can do some neutral looks with it if you just wanted to use the top row and just a little bit of hint of color or you can really get outside your comfort zone if you are like me and usually just do neutrals but I am getting more into color but you can really play with the pink and actually when I looked at this palette I thought well I'll do the pink for one look you know like for a really Barbie look but actually after using that pink I it's one of my favorite shades out of this palette is that bright pink. The bottom row was probably actually my least favorite. I mean, I liked these two, but this one, I just felt it was okay. I think that maybe I'll try a look with just this top color, which is Fantasy, and the bottom one is 1959. I think that that might be kind of a fun look to try sometime, so that I might work on. So I did swatch these in my first impressions, so I will leave the first impression video up above if you want to go see that one. Very, very happy with this purchase. Glad I bought it, and I am working on getting a beauty room set up, and when I do, this will definitely be on display because it is just so pretty. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below so I know. If you want to click my face, if you're not already subscribed, that will take you to subscribe. And I will throw up a couple of videos up here. If you want to see more three looks, one palette video, you can check those out. So hope to see you back here next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.